So this game has a pretty rad soundtrack that uh, uh, they don't really, like, really don't push it very hard. Like, overall, they don't push it very hard. On the list of many things we're going to talk about today, the volume of the music. What the hell's going on? Undungeon, a hack and slash RPG. It harkens back to older style of, well, like, NES, uh, SNES games where you have an overworld that you nav use to navigate. It's really weird without music. Uh, you have an overworld that you use to navigate, um, and then you have these instance areas that you kind of poured into, like Blaster Master, sort of. But Blaster Master had more of a platforming aspect to its overworld, but uh, in this case, it's more of like a map that you kind of maneuver around. But you saw those instance areas. We have the top-down hack-and-slash spells and all that crazy shit, uh, all that action. And, yeah, let's just let's, let's put music here. <laughs> Anyways... Let's go to continue. We're gonna go into the, uh, we're actually mid-game, uh, for me, uh, in this run. And, oh, there it is. There it is. It's pretty good. Soundtrack's pretty good. So, just as a first, just as a first note, one of the issues I had, uh, with the music elements, uh, is that the volume def is default, like, 50%, and you could barely hear it. And as I'm playing, I'm like, this is, like, solid, like, uh, 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 almost like somewhere between Diablo 2 and like Terran Starcraft like somewhere in there you know you have this kind of you know this raw dirty almost western kind of tone but then you also have these um these very uh almost like digital kind of like the machines futuristic machines aliens kind of uh uh textures or like taps or whatever kind of uh, flowing through it um, yeah, overall, pretty good soundtrack. So this is your top-down experience here, uh, where you do most of your combat and your encounters and everything, and your interactions. And then we're going to leave this area and go to the map. So I, like I said, I am mid-game here. Um, this is the map, and we can just kind of swing around. We can zoom out and look around. Uh, different locations. Each one of these is basically an instance zone that you go to. Uh, and then, you know, it's got its own map and everything, and so different areas kind of plotted out. Um... And my current mission is to, in three days, because travel time comes into account here, and I've not been ambushed on any of my travels just yet, but I reckon it probably is something that could happen. Um, but I'm going to go down to Wild Dog Den and try to make it through this. I've already failed twice. Uh, the game is not necessarily difficult. It is kind of difficult, but uh, at the same time, it's um, uh, it's uh, 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 the controls are a bit wonky. No, wonky is not the correct. It's, it's not like anything else I've played. Um, so let me just go and toggle back here. I'm using the controller because, um, well, because I figured that'd probably be, you know, something fun. To, I, I, this is a good solid game for that, right? Hack, hack and slash. I played Diablo through controller and I love it. Uh, so I was looking for that, uh, that, that kind of effect. Um, and this one works, but when you get in, the way it, the way it's set up, if you look at the bottom there, you have Y, L, uh, left bumper, left trigger, uh, X, uh, right bumper and B. So if we hit right trigger, this pulls up, this is now your menu. This is basically your character sheet in a streamlined form uh, where you can go through and swap out your weapons. You can swap out your, your chest piece. You can swap out all that. Let me use the mouse for this guy. I gotta show you guys. Uh, so like, for example, it's Bastion chest plate. Uh, and I could go and I could equip this if I like. I uh, just uh, think I gotta, oh, sorry, sorry. So, so, okay, herein lies the problem. Uh, instinctively, when I'm using a mouse, I wanna come over here and I wanna left click on this and I wanna drag it down here or at least left click on it or double click, click on it and it's gonna move down and it's going to load into my my character sheet right into my equipped bar um but that doesn't work that way if i left click on this it's going to cycle through the claws my main attack uh so click over here left click click anywhere left click now if i right click you see this so this this actually kind of takes away from like this is actually a very divergent from your typical you know accessible like you get down you click on a ui and you move things around now the controller it's equally as weird uh you know at the very least you, you kind of expect to be able to move a, a cursor around and grab things and and and, and move them i mean the fact that i can move a cursor around like this uh it makes me feel like i should be able to pick up a piece and move it minecraft style right um but you can't do that because if again if i hit x over here i'm now i'm moving that over on that side now while that's wonky on a controller and, and, and also on, on KBM, very wonky, uh, when you're in a fight and you're like quickly jumping in and out, once you get the rhythm of this, you're like a fucking stenographer, right? You're just pop, 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 pop. You're just popping over the menu real quick, pop, 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 right? And just, just cycling through things. Um, that was a waste of that. 
<laughs> so you're just cycling through things super fast. So in that instance, I feel like, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But I could do also just click on the menu, go in and just real quick with the D-pad or something or the mouse and keyboard do work that way. So it may be a toggle or something. I understand what the devs are trying to do here. It's a weird hurdle to get over at first. And even now I'm still struggling with it two and a half hours in, um, in order to, in terms of doing it quickly. Uh, but it would be nice if there was a way to just, you know, just do it. <laughs> like just click a mouse, like click, click or click or uh, pick up things, uh, Minecraft style. So I'm going to swap out some equipment here. Cause I want to show you guys some stuff. We have enemies approaching us, some dogs. Uh, I do my movement capabilities are basically a dodge. Uh, you have your man attack. Uh, oh, oh, we can get out of that. The red circle's bad, as you would expect. Uh, I also have a range, so I could use the right thumbstick or the mouse, and I could basically load this up and then fire that off, do a little bit of range damage. Now, once you fire something, uh, you have to retrieve it. Okay, that's almost gone, basically, I think. Hold on. That's a good... Oh, it did a move in. The red glass knife. Hold on. Let me try to get some of these guys off my back here. That was the red glass one, I think, that uh, did that spread effect. Let me go ahead and take these guys out. Melee, get out of the way there. I also have a grenade. This guy is standing still. I just healed him. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's here and lies another issue. No, that's not an issue at all. Um, their system of... Uh, oh, great, this guy's going to get hecka strong now. Thank you. Thank you, cheese. Thank you for not embarrassing me. Let me grab this real quick. Woo! Got it without going to the global map. All right. So, very cool system of whenever you throw down an item to heal yourself like I just did. Uh, and I'll actually I'll do it again. So, I'm going to right trigger and then uh, Y, Y in order to get down to this. Let me see. No, no. Uh, do I have a heal? Let me see. Hunger plus 25%. Chance of deflection. Removes all negative effects. Oh, here we go. This one. Uh, uh, let's see how much do I need. 500. One 500 will do great. And, and the other thing that kind of sucks too is I'm always... Um, so you drop it and then you hit it, right? So, by the way, just let me finish that, state that statement there. When you drop it, an enemy can hit it and get the heal as well. And vice versa. If an enemy drops a heal, you can steal it. Very cool mechanics. Very, very cool mechanics. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times I have to be buttoned back out of this menu and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so every piece of equipment does something a little bit different, right? Um, as obviously, God. <laughs> but uh, I, like in this case, your chest piece. So uh, my chest piece, this one says, allows you to dodge all attacks for a very short period of time. Cost one, and then I can hold it to have another effect. Cost one energy creates a protection sphere that boosts armor and deflects any uh, any three melee uh, melee range or, or attacks. So let me actually swap that out for this one. Generates a shield that protects you against one attack, and it's indefinite. And then for the uh, for the mask, vulture mask, uh, this is pretty good. It makes it wear invisible and grants movement period, uh, movement speed for a short period of time. Um, I have another one that drops mines. So, so interesting, like cool, like secondary uh, tools and abilities and everything. Uh, they, they, they have let's see bones, needles, nomads needle. A lot of that stuff is just basically crafting or materials that you would either use for crafting or uh, throw out a merchant. Uh, so upper left corner, you can see that I can upgrade. We have not really gone very far, but it's RPG, so you're gonna have to live in menus for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, upper left corner it says I have 154 essence. Um, I actually have more than that because I have someone here that I picked up at some points. Uh, let me see why. Why uh, grants 100 essence? So I'm gonna go and drop those and smack them. I have to think about the buttons that I hit because I'm still not used to the controls. That's why there's like a pause between when I say I'm going to do something and then do it. <laughs> Especially when I made that stupid menu. Uh, let me see. Uh, so yeah, those give me an additional 200. So let's go ahead and go to upgrade here. This is the this is the core part of the game. Get it? Because it's a core. It's your core. Uh, so I have a core. It's a young core. It's level five. And it has a few upgrades, and I can uh, a few slots upgraded or let's say unlocked. Let me use this; it'll be easier. Uh, and you can see that they they adjust my character stats on the left hand side here, and so everything is here. RPG baby, right? So core level five, core. This is my experience for the core, right? Uh, health, the stamina, movement, speed, energy. I mean, I mean, you can read all this stuff. I'll read too. Uh, so up here, what I'll do is I'll click on upgrade and select a slot to unlock. So right now I don't have any other fancy cores or runes to put in. I only have one. It's already in overwhelmed. 11% crit damage, crit damage, 11% bomb damage. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll slap one up here because I do have a bunch of these guys, these kind of generic white runes. Um, so I'll just throw one up here. So that's slot to unlock. I did upgrade. Gotta do another one. I sure can. Let's go and throw another one down there. Here we go. So slot to unlock. Uh, times one. Oh, okay. This one. 
Um, why can't I go on that one? Is it one, two, is it? Oh, is it not available to me yet? I wonder. Um, let me see. So I can, and th these, these do, they stack, right? I mean, like when you think, oh, it's only plus, plus 12 to maximum damage and your damage is a hundred, you know, it's 167, 155 to 167. Like you gotta think I already have a whole bunch of these stacked on here. Like, so I am dictating how powerful my character is, uh, through these runes. Um, you see 12, 12 damage max, you see minimum damage. This is really cool. I really like that they give you the option to raise your minimum damage. Like, I, I, I just don't feel like you really see that a lot in, like, it's not a very common thing. Usually it's just a straight damage range. You upgrade your overall damage range. Plus 12 at the top, it's plus 12 at the bottom. But this one, you actually have a spread. Very cool. Um, so, and also plus 20 to knife damage. So my throne, uh, it would get stronger, which is also pretty, pretty handy. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll go for just straight up damage on both. Uh, top end damage. So my minimum damage is still 50. Lowest damage you can deal with a basic attack. See, so a little bit of a spread there. But, you know, every once in a while I'm, I'm going to hit, I'm going to crit or something for 62%. Uh, oh, that's power. Critical mark is 1%. Ha 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 a chance to critically mark them. Uh, let me see. Uh, go to the rest of the menu. This is your body. Uh, I don't really have, I, I guess I'm not far enough in the game, but I'm two and a half hours in. Like, what do, what do you want? <laughs> um, and uh, this is where you'd go and you'd get uh, your additional... A swap out body parts. Now, the body parts, you can see each one has stats, right? Uh, so this one has to reach out a nearby ally, 10% damage uh, to plus 10 absorption. It's 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 a single player game, by the way. It's your companions. Um, and then, let me see, uh, health 200. So once I fix my head, I guess that is, my brain, uh, and then my uh, testicles? What is this point? Oh, no, no, that's, that's, that's this. Oh, that's a foot. <laughs> uh, what is this pointing to? Oh, that's pointing to that. My stomach? Probably stomach, right? It's just wounded now, but you know, I'm guessing that's probably something's up my lower intestines, right? <laughs> Human anatomy with Mike B. No, it's terrible. Uh, and this is just basically another character sheet you could go through and equip your character uh, without having to do it on the fly. So if you want to go back and do the old two character sheet, wait, drop it all there. On your inventory, uh, you can see it's so cute. You slap on a little backpack. Ooh, look at me. Um, <laughs> but here's, you can see all of your different materials and everything. Um, I guess that most of these are either uh, crafting supplies or you just straight up sell them to merchants. All merchants uh, um, deal with uh, uh, trade. So you could trade items or you could, tra you could trade coins, bronze coins, uh, if you'd like. Um, but, but it's always, but it's not like they don't sell things for, uh, a currency amount. It's kind of like end zone where you basically barter. Let me see, uh, the world map, the, yes, the map, this is where we're at. And then of course your mission. So right now we're doing a side mission and we're probably going to fail it, but that's cool. Um, <laughs> it's cool. You know, we're just, we're just kind of going, we're just kind of experiencing a little bit of the game here. Um, so I'm actually, I'm a little broken here. Let me go see what that says. That's the, uh, if it doesn't percent penalty, let me remove a special medication. Okay. Well, why don't we go ahead and apply some of that medication? Let's see if we have something. Remove stacks up to immunity to parasites and poison. Uh, chance of deflection, duration, decay. Nope. Removes all negative effects. Okay. That will remove all negative effects, but, like, is that really hurting me that much right now? I mean, sure, it hurt on that heal that I laid down and that I didn't get the full benefit from. But I only have one of these. So why don't we do this instead? Dang, I just swapped my head headgear out again. So let's do this instead. Uh, let me shield myself here. Give myself an extra shield using my action point in the bottom there. And let me go slap this a couple times, see if it'll give me some needles. Water skin. Okay, yep. Oh, here we go. It's an green acid one. Yeah, acidic rod. There you go. These bio guys. Probably not a fan of acid, I'm guessing. Woo! There we go. Oh, was I hit already? Let me see. Hook me up, dude. There we go. Don't lose on the first. Oh, oh, what the hell? This guy's gonna go down here. Easily, no. Now, if you leave them alone for too long, they start to get they start to get uh, stars, which I'm guessing just basically makes them more powerful, which is kind of annoying because sometimes the guys will, will after you hit them a couple times, they'll. Uh, they'll kind of keep their distance from you, and then you're busy dealing with other mobs, and then you go back, and this guy's like a five-star general, <laughs> and suddenly it's fucking Rambo time. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! See? I'm over here dealing with this guy, so now this guy's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. Look at his health. Ouch! Jesus. 
Okay, so now this is hurting. Maybe one of these. And let's do some uh, powerful attacks here if we can. Get that guy out of here. Five stars. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, I can't dodge? What's up? Okay, I broke something, so. There he goes. Let's see if we can get a good attack on him. What does he got? Red glass knife? Awesome. Okay, let's just see this guy with a bunch of range. Oh, he's healing himself over there. Oh, I'm out. He's getting a hot applied stamina down. There. God damn. Oh, he's still moving with a net on him, huh? Oh my gosh. He just keeps on healing himself. Ah! Prayer Trooper's dagger. Good. That's my good dagger. I think it was like 500 damage or something ridiculous. Okay. Well, I got this. Hopefully, that's all my stuff. So, days remaining two. Jeez. That was so much fighting. But hey, I didn't have to use that, um, I didn't have to use that, uh, uh, what is the thing called? The Sweet Fangood. I see, I saved it. Oh, dang it, change my mask again. Actually, this is a good one. This one drops, uh, mines. I feel like we might need... What is this? Bronze coin? Hey, hey, hey. So here's the thing that makes this game, like, appealing to me. Uh, the game loop is simple, right? Even though you guys haven't seen much of it. Overall, it's, it's pretty simple. The story's pretty rich. Like, the story's really rich. Uh, richer than I expected. Um, so it's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of reading and there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of catch up with story and whatnot. Um, but there's just, there's just something about the ease of just going through and doing like, uh, you know, uh, doing one little quick mission in this little instance area and then moving on to the next area. I don't know if something like, something like that just seems very appealing to me right now. Just the structure of the game loop, I guess. Uh, let me see, get him. Oh, okay, so there's, oh, it'll be a fight now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, Keep our distance here. We're gonna see who's the victor, and then I guess we're gonna fight whoever. No, hold on a second. Who's not attacking me? Okay, that guy's going. That guy's dead. <laughs> Keep him steady. I'm gonna put a shield on myself. Get this guy off me. Put some mines down. See this, and this part's great too. Like this combat feels really good. Like once you get into the rhythm of this. Like, this feels good. Ooh, ooh, he got me. Dog, I was trying to help you out, man. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh, man. Insta-heal. Oh, you going after me? Nice five-star, four-star. Can you stand still for a second? Nope. down. Ooh. <laughs> Let's grab all this loot, whatever all this stuff is. Oh, lots of cool stuff. Awesome. Oh, I just net myself. That was dumb. Dissect that guy. Get a bunch of loot. Okay, let's try to take this guy out before he turns into... Get out of the way. Yeah, my own, my own grenades, my own everything will indeed hurt. Let's charge this up. Oh, dang! 440! That's my mine, isn't it? Yep! <laughs> kind of dang. I'm so fucking... The memory of a goldfish. <laughs> Let me see. Is this mine? Yeah, yeah. These are all mine. So I kind of want to hit all these up. I don't know if there's a way to hit Alt to, like, view dropped items a la, like, every... every RPG. Um, but, uh, uh, I have not found it on the controller. Uh, I got a message. You guys see that pop up there? Uh, lower left corner, you have a phone. You have a communicator here. And um, this is this is a pretty interesting way of keeping the story going while you're out in the field. You get, like, a, for, I get all these corrupted feeds, a contact lost, um, you know, these, dice, these um, uh, uh, decrypted messages and everything. Um, and they really just kind of help aid in the story, you know? Kind of keep things moving. So what is this? Uh, corrupted data. This is my new, my new message. Uh, I missed which one was my new one. I think I already read this one. Next calling for hyper report on operation certified reporting red farmers. Didn't accept the product. We contacted the Raider smugglers, give them uh, a few trial batches, and agreed on a large batch with one of the groups. That's good news, Viper. This version of the product acts faster and spreads 
to wild fauna get samples of the newly infected okay so this message uh this is uh, i think it was a message um that i decrypted or picked up from uh those guys during that deal there so they're trying to uh sell those guys some uh i guess some bad some bad goods or something like that so let's see bring fade the fertilizer so yeah the fertilizer there oh, oh okay okay so yeah this this story um i don't want i'll disclose too much but yeah this next part like there's a couple sets before this story that i have not uh spoiled so <laughs> oh what is that you hit those things nah dude you gotta go i'm done with this mission man i'm trying to get out of here oh what the heck where is it Oh shit, got him. Oh no, I missed. God, some of these guys are so annoyingly long. So hold on a second. Oh yeah, look at this. The whole ass rock. What do I get for that? Materials, dried pulp materials. Cool, man. Fuck, I love materials. There we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, we just leave. Wait, hold on a second. Dang it. Ugh. That thing in the left corner means there's like loot down there. The chest. I'm gonna try to zip over there. I got some, I got some health. I'm good. I don't have any ailments. Just, just skiing my way down. Tribe style. Yeah, here we go. Sometimes I hide him in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we got some dudes out here. Whoa! Get him, get him while they're... No, get him, get him there. I was gonna say, get them while they're still level one. Well, I guess he wasn't really moving too far, anyways. But still, I got you, bitch. Oh shit, no, you don't. Slap that real quick. Whoa! Oh man. Just walking my own minds. Again. He's got a heal. Got a hot on him. There you go. So the fights do take a long time, um, sometimes, uh, but I still feel accomplished when I win, and it's because there is a lot of button pushing, and the better I get with the button pushing, then the more accomplished I feel, right? That was actually what I came here for, I think, was that stupid key? Um, so, so it's, so it's because, you know, because now I'm sitting here like fucking Neo on the controller and like pulling all these moves out and everything, uh, and then, I'm, and then I'm coming out on top in a fight, then it's like, oh, word, man, I'm, I'm pretty good at video games. <laughs> just cater to my ego, man. Just make it feel good. I don't care if it's a long fight. It's fine. <laughs> I feel like my skills are being used. Let's go and zip out of here. And let me see. So bring Faye the fertilizer. So we have this mysterious fertilizer. Um, I don't know what this is yet. This little red nugget here in the middle. But there's a green one over here, and I cannot interact with them. I'm guessing it has something to do with how, what I'm doing in this area. Traders camp. Oh, let's go over there. Then you guys can see what it's like to trade. Well, it's RPG. It's one of the key components. And also talking to people. Another RPG element. So yeah, I was really surprised at just how how much dialogue there is in this and how many choices you can you can you choose to go through dialogue. Nothing that I've seen that have had like drastic um uh effects on the gameplay. Uh, just like in conversationally. Oh, here we go. So it's cool. Who's this guy? Domkar, Pandora fruit, fresh and juicy fan goods. Uh, explosive fan. Oh, oh bitch. Oh, I'll be seeing you. I gotta go. Oh, okay. Um, enriched one. <laughs> I couldn't tell. It's the same, same freaking thing as a, uh, we fought mobs look like that. Uh, great prizes. Come buy something. Support. Yes. Let's take a look at this. Show me your goods. So he's got um, knives. Ooh. So usually what I try to do is like you can see I'm missing some knives, right? Like I had a lot more knives than this, which sucks. This means my good knife is gone. Ah oh, man. So I'd come over here and I basically buy a bunch of daggers, right? This is the one that I lost. Um, so I'd say like one, two, three, and then I could go through and I could choose items. So it's like this is worth thirty. Uh, using crafty can be sold to merchants. Let me see a data key. I could sell data key. Um, but I think this is something I probably need. <laughs> Primordial matter is something you you need. We're going to go back to the hub after this. Um, let me see. Plant seeds. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and hold on. Uh, just hit X and it'll automatically fill it with a bunch of items. And then those are what uh, they'll take. You can see some of them are crafting items. Some of them are just junk. You just sell them. And then, of course, there's like bronze coin. So I say deal. 
And now I have three, three knives to add to my collection. Am I ever, l l I keep on losing <laughs> these damn things in this fucking collection. Uh, let me see. No, no claws. Just basically just grenades, consumables, amplifiers, which is its health stuff. Probably grab a couple of these, and then I just tell just to, just a match, just a match and deal. Cool. Yeah, give them those things, whatever those were. Um, probably should buy a couple more things. Actually, let's do this. Let me grab some of these. These are really nice. I mean, they're just like hots, basically. But let me see. Ooh, lots of stuff. Fine. Get out of my inventory, and I could probably afford so much more. Uh, cool. So that's that's your basic interaction with a um with an NPC. <laughs> that other guy really scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I've been fighting these dudes and losing so many fights at you know uh, uh and it's just like man, just keep on fucking just get my ass kicked. Um, let me do this. Uh, since we are nah, let's go. I was gonna say let's go back up to the hub, but let's go here first. Let's see what happens when we walk all the way across. Oh, that thing moves. Oh, snap and moves. Mirror is a place to save, by the way. Ooh, a hunter halt site. Ooh, interesting. More things. It's got a marker on it, so that's something that has to do with the quest that we have. All right, it's got a fertilizer. Just a side mission. I don't know how many side missions there are. But overall, the reviews are pretty good on, on Steam. Nobody's complained about um, game length or uh, content, um, uh, like how many side quests or whatever. Let's see, Farmer, uh, how can I help you, Travis? Right. So about your friend, about your fertilizer, getting special fertilizer, you shouldn't use this fertilizer. It causes infection. Okay, yeah, see? So they were trying to sell some, uh, some uh, uh, tainted fertilizer. Um, so, you know, there's my Paragon, whatever route, so I'll go Paragon just to see what happens. Cause infection. What? How can that be? I don't have all the information yet. Harold, you asked me about a golden core. I made some inquiries with my former associates, and I think I know where it is. At least I can help you in some way. Cool, another core. Fade Mars coordinates on a beta core on your map. Awesome. Oh, this is not for me. This is a, uh, oh, I planted these, by the way. Do I get anything for them? Uh, flammable fan good. Corrupt fan good. Okay, yeah, so basically it's all crap. Yeah, spiky. Okay, spiky. Okay, we got some good. We got some good. Um, you can walk across these um, little holes in the ground, and then it'll just snatch like one essence per, and then it'll grow something, and then you can just pick it. You don't have to wait for it long. It's like just a couple seconds. So it says the beta core is over here, but that's a major um, uh, uh, game item. I th yeah, I think, right? Yeah, I think, it's a, yeah, I think so. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the, uh, I think, I believe the Alpha Pier. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, yeah, this is the, um, okay, yeah, yeah. Now we go back in. We're gonna teleport to, uh, there's the Beta Pier. Okay, so we could go to another, uh, pier, which is, uh, another location on the map that we were just at. Uh, we're gonna go to Foundation Pier. Get some cool glitchy effects, you know? Things that just wrecks Twitch streams and shit. Love that stuff. Look at that. All right, so this is the hub. This is where you can talk to Di, Di, oh, Vid ah, Vidicus. I was close. Uh, Vidicus, uh, he's a very chatty AI robot, kind of guides you through a couple things. Uh, you also have um, these uh, these bridges that you build using primordial ooze, I believe. Uh, and Vidicus will extend it out to, for example, this merchant over here, Motilla. Motilla is one of the original people. Uh, or something like that. Um, and it's also a very chatty Kathy. Uh, and is not very good friends with Viticus. Uh, hasn't really said much about Viticus, but definitely shows like you get the idea that not really a big fan. Um, so where can I find Spirit Sparks? So yeah, yeah, it's up for me to do. So I want to see which cores you can craft. Here we go. Uh, did I save enough essence to do anything? I sure did. Let me see. Oh, not really. Um, no, I did not. So, I don't have any cores to, uh, okay, so. I don't have cores to do anything with, but you can imagine. Uh, well, actually, this is great. We could see the other cores. Strength core converts, so you see, runes 12, defense 9, nature 6, luck 3. Runes 12, attack 9, luck 3, gloom 3. Oh, cool. This core exudes heats, but doesn't burn flesh. The shell is mobile and looks as if coated in a thin layer of blood. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, these cores are, these cores, this core mechanic is, uh, it's very, seems very intriguing. To be able to kind of just change your characters, um, how they play. 
and also give you something else to dump points into. Oh, look at this, some essence. Three jars of essence. Oh my god, I'm gonna level up again. Um, but yeah, I only have one bridge. I only have one bridge that's a, that's available to me. Uh, the training room there, you go through. They give you a very, very, very general overview. And this is the main computer that will tell you um, the current status of your mission. So right now, available hub mass four percent. Uh, master plan. It says step one, step two, step three, uh, and then it tells you your dimension status or each dimension, um, Q dimension, which is what I'm in now, I believe. Uh, land dimensions accessible. So that's my next stop, and then you just go on from there, from there, from there. So you piece all these things together to form a mass. You fill the mass bar, and then you can generate a reality or something. Um, that part I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out. But um, yeah, let's let's go get into another fight. Like, like we're done like showing stuff. <laughs> I think now we just go and get into a fight. <laughs> I want to do some more combat. The pixel work is great too. I mean, you've already noticed, I'm sure. Um, the artwork is just fantastic. Uh, the animations are great. Um, I am hoping that there's more uh, mob variation as we get deeper into the game. It's hard to tell. Beta core is that way. There's a mirror over here. So if we want to save, we should go to the mirror. So we'll walk over here. Just one day walk into the mirror. Ooh, a small lair. Ooh, look at that. A little side mission. Let's do that. Let's go in here real quick. It should load very quickly. It should load very quickly. I had to say it twice. Send the whole computer back. Where's this mirror at? What the heck? Oh, right here, of course. And then that's it. Saved. And then you'll see my, my face. And he's all like... Moo -ha 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 -ha. I don't know why. This seems like a weird thing to do at myself, sneering at myself. <laughs> so the way that they make the, the mirrors make sense is they're saying that the mirror dimensions are now more stable than they used to be, right? Which means that when you go to a mirror and you transfer your consciousness to the other, or you transfer your consciousness something to the other dimension, it's able to... Uh, maintain stability and so when you die you start back at the mirror but you're in the mirror dimension but you don't know you're in the mirror dimension because when you look back in the mirror you're creating another mirror dimension of the current of the new mirror dimension you understand yeah me too so we're gonna go in here to small lair see what the ruckus is about oh here it comes oh shit okay yeah speaking of enemy variety It's armored, so yeah, I was gonna say it's armored, so it'll probably take a good hit here. Oh, I shot it! I shot it! Shot out of the. Oh, it was hiding behind that wall. I was like, did I shoot it? <laughs> take his projectile out of the air? I've been a trip. Yeah, these things gotta go. Thirty-three. I said I'm taking a hit though. Oh. Okay, I was like, I spoke too soon. There it is. No, no. Never mind. I, I like the hit stop that they do in this. Um, yeah, when you when you're when you're when you're rushing at somebody and you you give them you give them the good slap, right? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Okay, it's a lot. Hold on, hold on. Get some mines down. Focusing hard spot right now. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, gotta get straight, I think. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Pick up all this stuff. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Um, I know I saved and everything with the express purpose of coming here and causing a fucking mess and then dying, but I didn't really want it to happen. I'd imagine some of these parts are probably a little bit better with the with the KBM, but I just got too comfortable with the controller, man. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, is this not a spawner? Oh man, I thought it was a spawner. Maybe it was, and I broke it. Well, whatever. So, anyways, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good game. Like, this is something you can put a lot of time into. Like, this is like a cross code or something for a lot of folks, right? Um, gameplay feels good. Uh, the game loop is simple, simple, and uh, and the the character customization is damn near endless and then there's companions are gonna get later on um 
where you're basically swapping characters or something. I don't even know because I haven't got to that point. Uh, but so far, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty engrossed. I've been hopping in and out of here pretty much every other day or every day or so playing a little bit just as I like session as I just described um, and enjoying it. So you could check it out for yourself currently available on Steam for $19 and 99 cents. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. It's it's a, it's it's a solid one, and you know it's the sales going on lately, so uh, it might drop on there. So check out the tiny bundles because that's where you're gonna find it. All right, have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. Goodbye.